Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we're going to be flying fast and high and raining down destruction below with this absolutely amazing A-10 jet. Now, some of you might know it as the A-10 Warthog, others of you might know it as the A-10 Thunderbolt, but I know it as a ridiculous amount of fun because this thing packs a punch and it is extremely maneuverable. It has 11 mounting points for missiles, rockets, and bombs, and it also has a front turret that is capable of shredding anything on the ground. Now to show you exactly what this jet is capable of, we're going to be loading into three different worlds. So to start off, we're going to be joining a terrain map where we're going to take to the skies and I'm going to do some high speed maneuvers to push the limits of this jet and I'm also going to show you guys how amazingly easy it is to fly this with a first person view. After pushing the limits in the sky, we're going to load into a flat map where we're going to show off the ground support that this jet is capable of. We've got some tanks scattered around this flat world and we're going to be flying around trying to take down as many targets as we can. And I've got some really good news guys, we're going to have destruction cam in this video so we're going to get to see all of the amazing explosions and destruction up close and personal. And then after all that we're going to take to the skies over water and we're going to try and sink that battleship right over there to satisfy even more of our need for destruction. Now this episode is going to be loads of fun so what are we waiting for guys? Let's get started. So first things first, we're going to start off with the terrain map where we're going to take to the skies and push this plane to the limit. But before we do that, I just wanted to quickly show you guys overall the design of this thing. This is such a unique jet. Now, I didn't know how it was going to work out with the wing mod because guys, the only thrust that this uses is for going straight forward. Everything else is controlled by the wing mod. Now, as you guys can see, there are no bombs, no missiles or rockets loaded onto the mounting points and that is because for the flight tests I wanted this plane to be as light as possible so that we can actually push the limits. Alright so I'm gonna get into the cockpit now we are going to close down the canopy so I'm thinking what we're gonna do is gonna start with some third person flying and then we're gonna move into first person just so you guys can see how actually easy it is. Alright there we go we have now taken off in the A-10 and take a look at this guys. This is some darn smooth flying in Scrap Mechanic. Now like I mentioned, we are only using the wing mod for all of our control and guys I have this mapped out to W-A-S-N-D. I'm sure you guys must be super happy to hear that because usually my planes don't use that, they use numbers and stuff but I gotta admit this is absolutely easy to fly and extremely maneuverable. Alright, so as you can see though, we've got some beautiful banking turns here. Look at this guys, super smooth as well. There's never really any issues whatsoever. Alright, so now it's time to push some limits though. So why don't we actually try and do a few little maneuvers here. So let's straighten this thing out and I'm going to try and just do an aileron roll. So this is nice and easy, just like so. Look at that guys, no problem whatsoever. What about uh, a huge loop-de-loop, -loop, a big flying backflip? Do you think this thing can do it? I don't know, let's see here. We are flying up and over, oh my god. The wing mod is going kind of crazy, but look at this guys. No issue whatsoever, super easy. All right, now one thing I love to do with the wing mod is actually go straight up into the air. So here we go. All right, we are super high up in the air. Here we go, guys. It is time to dive bomb straight down. Now this, like I mentioned, this is pushing the limits. Oh my God, the screen is shaking so much. We're going so fast. Here we go, pull up. Oh my God, whoa, the wing mod can't handle it. And now the wings are all janky. All right, guys, I think we actually pushed the limits there. Alright, so the obvious thing that is causing an issue with that is the fact that I have these wings mounted on pipe pieces that are on bearings so that the wings can angle upward just a little bit, just like the actual A-10. But for the sake of science, I'm going to remove these and we're going to mount these wings on a hard point so that way they're not all floppy-like and hopefully we're going to see some better results. Alright, so now I've got the wings mounted directly onto the side of the plane with no bearings in the way, so let's see guys. I'm really thinking that this is going to make it a heck of a lot better. All right, so here we are. We are doing our ascent yet again, and this is going to be the final 
dive bomb test here guys with hard mounted wings I have a feeling it's gonna make a huge difference so here we go let's start rolling all the way up and over oh man what a beautiful sight and here it is all right the tail wings they have completely glitched out guys we can no longer use our control back there but we are still managing wow all right so that's enough pushing the limits on this plane now it is time for a little bit of first person flight so here we go guys let's shut the canopy down look at this so one thing I absolutely love about this jet is I went a little bit more with the interior detail so that way we can kind of have more aesthetic when we're sitting in the first person and there's also so much glass and room to be able to see everywhere that I have full confidence when we're flying this thing in first person so here we go guys let's take this thing off and up into the air all in first person like I mentioned guys we have no issues whatsoever and look at this this thing is so stable that we can literally look at where we want to turn and we'll just go that way you know we just have to use our controls and we never have to really concern ourselves with losing orientation because the jet basically flies itself all you have to really do is point it in the direction that you want it to go and look at this guys some beautiful first person flight right here where we're able to swoop around between the trees and stuff look at this absolutely fantastic and like I mentioned guys this is not difficult whatsoever look at these amazing views though we can see everywhere that we're gonna go and I have no real fears of running into anything unless I really pull my nose up like this you know and then I can no longer see anything up front that's a bit of an issue but other than that when we're doing these awesome banking turns look at this we can see exactly where we need to go how we can swoop around the mountains all right so one thing we got to do though of course is do a little bit of a landing so why don't we kind of bring ourselves to the edge of the map here where there's all sorts of open space and we're gonna try and land this thing in the first person now this is awesome guys this is full-on jet experience in scrap mechanic I love it so much oh boy there is the world fence right there so let's just do one last little banking turn here like so and I see that tree there so we're just gonna try and maybe avoid it just a little bit pull up and here we go bringing it down gently oh okay not so gentle we did hit a rock there but anyway guys that is enough flying around for now let's get the destruction cam set up and start blowing things up all right guys so here we are in the flat map I've got three tanks scattered around the area here we've got a little runway and the destruction cam is set up ready to go this is going to be done with the A-10 that has the rocket. So here you can see, guys, we've got rockets mounted on either side. But of course, we also have three bombs in the middle there ready to go as well. Now, these are the rockets that will just self-propel once you release them, and they'll go in a straight line down to the ground. So hopefully, we're going to get some targets with this one. All right, here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Oh boy, here we go. Look at this, guys. So this thing does take off nice and quick. There's a pretty long runway, but we don't actually need it. Now, this is also where we're going to get a chance to see that front turret that is mounted there, guys. This thing is absolutely devastating. And I think the destruction cam is set up on this one farther down there. So here we go, guys. Let's start off by trying to hit that one. There we go. Look at this. All right. The cannon is going. Oh, jeez. Wow, that looked like it was pretty close. All right, I see another tank in the distance here, guys. Maybe we might be able to get some shots off on this one. Oh, no, just close. All right, this time I'm going to try and bank in. There's the tank that's in the front there, and then there's a tank that's farther behind that has the destruction cam. So I kind of want to try and line up some shots on both of them. But you know what? I feel like this one is just too close into the turn. So why don't we just focus on that destruction cam tank over there. Here we go. We got a line of destruction going. Oh, just wide. All right, so I'm thinking we're going to do another pass with only the front mounted turret. And then we're going to start using the rockets as well. Uh, so let's try and line this up here for one last good swoop of this turret looking pretty good right here there we go oh that looked like a good hit all right here we go guys we're gonna line up for a rocket pass now this is going to deploy each rocket in a sequence one set after the other so we got to make sure we're nice and lined up here all right this is looking pretty good I'm thinking we're gonna drop them right now there they go oh wow yes it was a hit 
We just got a hit. Oh my god, that was absolutely amazing. Alright, so I've spawned in another one with fully loaded rockets yet again because I really do want to try and finish off that tank. Now, I gotta say, guys, I'm super surprised at how accurate that was. I didn't think we were actually gonna get a hit, uh, which is kind of sad and disappointing, isn't it? That I thought we weren't gonna manage to do it, but here we go, guys. We're gonna try it again. Look at this. We are gonna center ourselves up perfectly just like that, and I'm thinking we ditch him right now. Oh, too high. Alright guys, here we go. It's one final attempt with the rockets. Now, this time though, I'm gonna be going in for a much lower pass. So hopefully, we'll be able to get some really good destruction on those last little salvaged pieces of tank. Here we go guys. Super low pass. Oh my god, wow, this is actually super low. Here we go, shoot the rockets. Oh yes! That is what I'm talking about, baby! That is Jets in Scrap Mechanic. Alright, so I don't know about you guys, but that was probably some of the most satisfying stuff I have ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. But now I guess it's time we move on to try and blow up some battleships. Alright guys, here we go. It's us versus the battleship. We've got destruction cam all set up and ready to go. So here we go in three, two, one. Here we go. Now, all right, guys. So this jet, this one here is loaded with nothing but bombs. We're going to be dropping these bombs on to the plane. But I'm thinking first, though, of course, we should probably just start off with the turret. See if we can't get a few bits of damage in on that ship there and see some awesome destruction. Alright, so there is the ship over there. We just gotta get lined up as quick as we can, just like so. We're gonna hold down two. Alright, beautiful. Let's see if we get some hits in. Ooh, it looks like we hit one right at the back of the ship there. Let's try that again. Alright, here we go. So for round two, I'm thinking we might be able to slide in from this direction here and maybe get some awesome fadeaway cam footage from the destruction cam. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get all lined up just like so and start shooting. Oh, beauty, yeah, there we go. That was a couple direct hits right there. All right, here we go, guys. Now we're gonna try and drop all of our side missiles, they drop in a sequence just like the rockets did. Now look at this, guys. We're looking really good and lined up for this drop. So here we go. I'm going to drop them right now. There they go in a sequence. Oh, yeah. We got a good hit there. I think we just took out the entire back end of that ship. Alright, so I'm just gonna do a tight turn in right here like this. Look at this, guys. We're almost skimming the water. Now, here we go. We're gonna try and drop our final missiles on to the plane in just like that. Oh, I just drove into the plane! I mean, the ship! What? <laughs> I did... Oh, boy. Okay. Well... That's one way to take a ship down, I guess. Well, guys, I am going to say that's uh, enough destruction for today. Now, if you guys did enjoy this build or the video, then be sure to leave a like. And if you want to tune in for some more endless scrap mechanic, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and maybe turn on some notifications as well. Now, as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So, uh, bye for now.